If the behaviors, the habits have not been personalized, have not been built for you, they're not for you. They're not going to get you where you want. They're not going to give you the outcomes you want. They're not going to get you the results you want because they're the ways of the world. And you'll continue to chase. You'll continue to seek. You'll continue to push. And until you choose different, until you choose something personalized, until you choose something that helps you understand this thing you're living in, you're going to continue to chase. But once you flip, once you choose different, once you flip the order, everything that you've been chasing is going to start chasing you. This is the Own It Show, where we tell stories of how everyday people made ownership theirs. Hey guys, welcome back to the Own It Show. I'm your host, Justin Rothling, chauffeur. And if you're new to the show and you haven't checked out the past 247 episodes, I suggest you go back because we've had some amazing guests. Not only have we been, had amazing guests, but we've really dove into really important topics when it comes to living a life by design and what does that look like and being able to take ownership of your life and your health because um at the end of the day if you have your health you can do anything if i was to take your business away today and you had your health you could go build another one if i took your home away today and you had your health you could go and build another one and so the key here is how are we showing up to make sure that we can really have the best life, lean into our potential and step in to what we've been called to do in the most powerful way over and over and over again. And so <clears throat> we've had some amazing guests. They've told their stories of what ownership has really done for them. Uh, we've talked uh, solo episodes like we're going to have today. And I really encourage you to go back and listen to those. If anything speaks to you, the only thing I ask is that you either share it with somebody, you leave a comment or you leave a review. That's the way we're able to reach more people and ultimately step into the mission of Own It, which is redeeming the health of the world to ultimately allow people to step into their God-given potential. And that's a great segue into today's message because today's going to be a very bold and very blunt episode. Um, was out at dinner last night with, uh, with someone and uh, it really just struck me and I was convicted to come on here this morning and really just pour my heart, heart out and tell people um, what we stand for at Own It, what we're all about, and to allow people to have, I think, a new insight and a peek behind the curtain of what's sometimes going on in the health and wellness industry. And so when I think about health, health is health is something that I think this industry has turned it into a little bit of a game where it's a marketing game, it's a views game, it's a connections game. And it's really about who do you know and how can you get clicks? How can you get uh, people to really step up and lean in? And people are sick of it. People are sick of the get fit quick marketing. They're sick of the try this supplement and it'll cure everything game. They're sick of the this tool is going to be the best thing ever. Because all you ever see if you go, if you want a red light machine, well, now it's just a race to the bottom in pricing. Well, once you get to the bottom in pricing, is it actually doing what it's actually meant to do? You do that in the supplementation game. Well, this supplement is going to cure every single thing that you're that you've got. If you've got fatigue, if you've got brain fog, if you've got weight gain, you're trying to lose weight, take this supplement, it's going to change the game for you. You go, you invest in it, you go, you spend money on something, you go and you you invest in a coach, but yet it's a fraction of what was promised at the onset. Because the world has gotten so good at marketing. They've gotten so good at promising. They've gotten so good at telling the story, telling the hero's journey, the hero's journey of they, they made it to the top. They were, they got super sick. They healed themselves. And this is the solution that's going to allow you to do it. But little do you know, they had to massage the story here. They had to emphasize something here because it wasn't quite emotional enough to pull you in, to close the gap, to get you over the bridge so that you were ultimately poised to make an emotional close 
but then tactically it made sense as well. It's all a game. It's all a game and it's all manufactured. And it's something that for a long time bothered me. It's something that for a long time I tried to figure out like, how do I do that? How do I get views? How do I get seen? How do, how do I lean into this side? Because I was sick of losing. I was sick of always seeing that person come and say, man, I just wish I could find a solution. I wish I hadn't spent the $10,000 that I did on X, Y, and Z and got nothing from it. And then all of a sudden, when I start talking or I start coming up with the personalized solutions, the coaching that like truly cares about you, knowing that transformation doesn't happen through technology, but transformation happens through relationship and transformation happens through solid, organic, authentic communication. And the way that I was speaking, the way that I'm not a marketing guy, I don't know any of these tricks and tactics. All I know is how to be authentic. All I know is how to be true. All I know is how to show up. All I know is how to serve. And what I know really well is that Health is something that is earned. And when we can reach, teach, and empower people with a deep level of love, a deep level of service, and a deep level of giving, what you do works. And that's just what we've done year over year over year over year with thousands and thousands and thousands of people. And I find myself still looking at my Instagram totals or the number of views on the podcasts or the number of stages that you're on. And you maybe look at like five or six other people that are out there and I won't name names because I don't, I don't like name, name dropping on here or calling people out, but there's five or six people in the health and wellness industry that you see on every podcast that you see with like five, six, seven hundred thousand uh, followers on Instagram. But yet, you know the product they're putting out. You know that they've got twenty million dollars behind them in marketing budget because they've got X Y Z investor. You know they're in cahoots with certain marketers that are just continually pushing them because you know there's a money stream following it. And I would get frustrated and I would get angry. But instead of being like everybody else, I took ownership. I took ownership of who I was. I took ownership of what we do. I took ownership of the mission that God's put on my heart, which is to redeem the health of the world. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to stay authentic. We're going to stay on brand. We're going to stay consistent. We're going to stay true to making sure that we are focused on being the best at reaching people, at teaching people, and empowering people with personalized information so that they can understand their bodies for the first time. They can understand what's happening deep internally inside this vessel that God's given them inside this walking blessing that is so complex that it's not just about one supplement. It's not just about one tool. It's not just about one piece of technology. It's not just about one workout plan. It's just not about one diet. It's all intermixed in a complex, beautiful web that when integrated together in a personalized way that you, the user, you, the person on the other end, you, the consumer can understand it can ultimately transcend any results that you're seeking. And the results become inevitable. Why? Because you've become intentional and consistent for the first time in your life because you actually understand this thing. I think the big difference here that I want to call out and be extremely bold in is that this isn't just, this isn't a business. This isn't my business. This isn't my wife's business. This is God's business. We're just here managing it. We're here stewarding it. We're here making sure that 
it can be fulfilled and the promise can be fulfilled. What was called on me when I was 12 years old, which was that I was going to redeem the health of the world. And oftentimes, like anything in life, we want things fast. And over the last 25 years of my experiences, my education, my learning, as we started the business in 2020, it was something that, hey, I want it quicker. Like, okay, we're in. I'm being obedient. I've, I've taken action. I've created what it is that you've asked. But why isn't it happening faster? Why don't I have an Instagram following of two, three, four, five hundred thousand? Why am I not getting the 200, 300, 400,000 downloads of the podcast every single month? But yet, the other side, the other people that I'm comparing myself to, they're finding that. And I, it made clear, it got clear to me at dinner the other night with this individual. And it was almost like taking a, a dose of my own medicine. It was take ownership of who you are. Take ownership of what you've been called to. Take ownership of where you're going because that's your separator that's what makes you different and it's always been what's made us different the fact that we've built what we have on biblical principles the fact that we've built what we have on a god-given calling the fact that we've built god's business and not ours and we know that we're just stewarding it but that stewardship principle comes back to how we need to live our lives how are you living is always the question. Because stewardship has four different principles, four key principles. Number one, God owns everything. I own nothing. I don't own my gifts. I don't own my talents. I don't own my ideas. I don't own my home. I don't own my business. I don't own my family. I don't own my money. Everything that I have is God's everything. And when I can understand that, and I'm just a manager, and I just have to make sure that I'm stewarding it well, the pressure comes away. And what you've been chasing all of a sudden starts to chase you. So realizing that God owns everything and I own nothing is a pivotal moment in every single one of your lives right now, as you're listening to this, God owns everything. You own nothing. If you're driving your car, you don't own that car. If you're listening to this while you're running, you don't own your body. If you're listening to this while you're meditating or while you're laying on your back, relaxing, you don't own that mindset. You don't own those ideas. You don't own that hammock. You don't own that house. You don't own that pouch. If you're listening to this while you're in your business, you don't own that business. You own nothing. God owns everything. Number two, God entrusted you with everything you have. And you need to prepare yourself to be able to take on more responsibilities. So many people I hear all the time are like, I want more responsibility. I want to be able to be like, I want to take on more. I want a bigger business. I want a bigger home. I want a bigger family. Well, you haven't been stewarding what you've already been given. There's no way you're going to be given more responsibility if you can't be trusted with what you have. You're 50 pounds overweight, but yet you want a bigger business. If you were to have that, maybe that kills you. You want to have a bigger family, but you can't even go to bed on time or manage the meals for you and your wife. What if we were able to manage yourself and manage your body better? Now you're going to be able to steward your family better because you're going to have more children to be able to pour into. In order to grow your responsibilities, in order to take on more, in order to do more, you have to make sure that you're being responsible and stewarding everything you have. Do great things with the little, and you're going to be given much. It will grow. Number three, I'm responsible to increase what God's given me, but I also have the ability to decrease it or increase it. Just because we've been blessed with something does not mean that it's going to grow does not mean that it's going to flourish. That's your responsibility. He wants to co-create with you. And so this body that you've been given, 
the greatest, most complex, beautiful thing on this earth. You've been given this gift, but yet you're not stewarding it well. You're dropping the capacity. You're dropping the resiliency. You're dropping the strength. You're dropping the stamina. You're dropping the, uh, the awareness, the clarity, because you're not stewarding it well. Well, if you are not stewarding it well and all of those things are dropping, imagine what's going to happen to the responsibilities. They're not going to be there. And so changing the way you're living is the only way to do that. We think health as six packs and rippling muscles. Those are outcomes. That has nothing to do with overall health, overall wellness, overall ability to steward this thing, to take on more. How are we living? How are we functioning? How are we operating? What's our capacity like? That's what I want to know. That's what I want to personalize. That's what I want to step into. That's what's unique to you. That's different for every single person. And that's why we can't come into this marketing thing and you'll never hear from me. That's why we don't run ads. That's why we don't run these little, little gimmicky um, uh, contests. You're never going to hear these things from me. Why? Because they don't work. Because I'm not playing that game. I'm not playing everybody else's game. I'm playing God's game. And that's what Own It stands for. And that's what our company stands for. And that's what our business stands for. It stands for the uniqueness of you. It stands for the uniqueness in which you've been made. It stands for the uniqueness of you and your life so that we can encapsulate that and we can come into your world. You don't come into ours. Because when we can increase what God has given you, that is when your life starts to change. That is when you start to realize true health. That's when you start to be mentally clear. That's when what everything you've been chasing starts to turn around and start chasing you. That is why the people that come into the own it ecosystem, the people that engage in this start to see life in a different way. They see life by design, not by default, and they no longer live by the patterns of this world, but they've been completely transformed in something that is real because transformation happens in relationship and transformation happens in communication. And that's how it works. Not by a gimmick, not by a marketing ploy, not by an influencer. It's different. And that's what we're taking ownership of. And the fourth part of stewardship is knowing that you can be pulled into accountability at any time. When you're pulled into accountability, it's something that is ultimately saying, hey, have you done the work or have you not? Because it's game time and the time for, to prepare is over. You are no longer able to prepare. Either you show up and you perform or you show up and you don't. Your outcomes are inevitable. You've heard me say this many times. The definition of performance is being able to lean in and have the capacity and desire to show up intentionally and consistently to behave at a level equal to your mental, physical, spiritual, and emotional potential. Everybody has the desire to have great health. Everybody has the desire to have the business. Everybody has the desire to have the family. Everybody has the desire to have the platform but not everybody has the capacity. And the reason you don't have the capacity is because you have not behaved intentionally and consistently equal to the level of your potential. And if you behave intentionally and consistently according to what you've been called to, according to something as unique as you are, it's inevitable that the outcome you desire is going to be reached. It's inevitable. It's not a question of if you're going to lose the weight. It will just happen. It's not a question of are you going to build the muscle? It's going to happen. It's not a question, are you going to be mentally clear? It's going to happen. It's not a question, are you going to have the energy? It's going to happen. It's not a question, are you going to have the deep sleeps? It's going to happen. It's not a question, are you going to get rid of the stomach issues and the bloating? It's going to happen. And because you are going to have the capacity. You're going to be able to accomplish every other thing that you're looking for. That's why life looks different in Own It. That's why life is truly not the same after you start to live differently. Different is a holy word to me. It means to be set apart. Truly identified as something unique. 
as unique as you are, as unique as you've been made. And so when we start to think about performance, when we start to think about how are we showing up, when we start to think about how we're shaping our lives, the capacity and the desire to intentionally and consistently behave at a level equal to your mental, physical, spiritual, emotional potential, that's different. I want to increase your capacity. I want you to increase your capacity so you can ultimately accomplish everything you desire. I want you to increase your capacity so you can ultimately serve at the level in which you've been called to. I want you to increase your capacity so that you can ultimately lean in and be the person that you want to be, meeting and exceeding the potential that exists there because the outcomes are inevitable. It's not complicated. It's very simple, consistent and intentional behaviors that are shaped through the habits that we've developed that are personalized to us. And if we are not living a life by design, we're living a life by default, and that's going to keep you in mediocrity. It's going to keep you in a space of good enough, and it's going to keep you in a life of average, which none of you have been called for. And that's what every other company is leaning you into. That's the life that you've done. You, by unknowing, have conformed to the ways of the world. You have conformed to that random company that is saying, hey, let me do this cool blood test and send you the worst, most generic supplements that I'm calling personalized. That's what you were doing. You're succumbing to the company that's bringing you in, that's serving thousands and thousands and thousands of people, but giving them the exact same protocol because that's what's scalable and that's what makes money. You're putting something on your wrist or your finger that's going to track information, but it's literally just giving you the same exact data feedback and giving you the exact same recommendations as every other person wearing this. And you're not understanding your body to the nth degree. You're not understanding the personalized change. You're not understanding what's happening. So you can't steward your body. You can't steward your mind. You can't steward your life. You can't steward your energy in a more powerful way to ultimately grow your impact, grow your capacity, and take on more responsibility. That's what you're seeking. That's what you're standing for. You're standing for mediocrity. You're standing for average. You're standing for good enough. You're standing for conforming to the ways of the world rather than choosing to live differently. And so as I end today, I came on wanting to take a stand and really show what own it does. Own it stands for different. Our tagline, own your different. It's not by mistake. Different is a holy word to me. It's equivalent. It means to be set apart. Set apart for something great. Created in uniqueness. And the really awesome part about being different is that when people see it, they recognize it. They see it and it gives them permission to do something different. It gives them a fresh eye as to, wow, this person is getting the results that I've been seeking, but yet I've just been trying everything that the world's been telling me. And I haven't been able to see the same results, the same outcomes as this person. Why? Because your outcomes are inevitable based upon the intentionality and consistency of your behaviors. And if they're not built for you, they're not for you. Allow that to sink in. If the behaviors, the habits have not been personalized, have not been built for you, they're not for you. They're not going to get you where you want. They're not going to give you the outcomes you want. They're not going to get you the results you want. Because they're the ways of the world and you'll continue to chase, you'll continue to seek, you'll continue to push. And until you choose different, until you choose something personalized, until you choose something that helps you understand this thing you're living in, you're going to continue to chase. But once you flip, once you choose different, once you flip the order, everything that you've been chasing is going to start chasing you and life looks differently. Remember. Success is different. So own your different. And we'll see you next week.